Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to The Correct Views. Sam DeGangi welcoming you aboard. Before you forget, before you get sidetracked, hit share, hit subscribe, and if you want to contact me or support me, The Correct Views at Hotmail.com, you can donate through PayPal. Welcome aboard. It's a pleasure to have you listening to me. Friends, How many of you, and I, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm the only one now, but have any of you ever made mistakes and made decisions in your life, maybe a series of decisions in a row even, maybe made the same mistake more than once, and you really, really wish that you could just, you know, put the train back on the track, so to speak. If you're lucky, you'll have a chance to do that. Many people don't. That's life, right? Of course it is. As grim as that may be. But what if you look back at your life and you helped plot the death of 3,000 people because you thought that they offended your God? What do you think you'd get as a second chance? Well, if Joe Biden's the president, you're going to get a country! <sighs> this. Four prisoners that Obama exchanged for Bo Ben Ber Bergdahl, excuse me, now in a senior Taliban positions, posts, positions. Nearly all of those who hold senior positions have close ties to Al-Qaeda. Michael Moore, his assessment of how we got there was wrong, but what he, what he said today was right. Bin Laden won. He's rolling over in his grave because he has a stitch in his side from laughing. Not just that we laugh. But, the, you know, you, all right, look at it this way. <coughs> you remember, it's a constant stream of uh, Obama blaming Bush and Biden trying unsuccessfully to blame Trump. We can go back to Obama on this one. Bergdahl ditched. Okay, he was like Biden. He left people behind. His people needed him on the battlefield, and he left. Yeah. But Sam, you've never served. You don't know how stressful it can be. I know that if you go to your officer and mention to him that you're about to break, they will move you, discharge you, do something. You do not leave the way he did. Because there were people who went looking for him who died. Well, he managed to get himself captured by the enemy. And Obama traded the life of this traitor for a number of high-ranking terrorist plotters. Or those closely aligned to those who plotted. 9-11. And now, they are running the country. I told you, you look back at your life and you're like, man, I wish somebody, you know, loved me enough to give me a shot at this. Or, man, I wish that job would look at me and say, or how many, everybody's got regrets, right? Leave them in your comment line. You know, there'll be a lot of people doing that. Leave your greatest regret in my comment line. It'll be a place of great joy. But you know what I'm saying. These monsters got a country. How does this even happen? Four out of five Guantanamo Bay detainees. Way to go. Four out of five. Hey, four out of five ain't bad. Meatloaf. We need an update. Four out of five Guantanamo detainees from former President Barack Obama released in exchange for U.S. Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl in 2014 now hold senior positions in the intern government created by the Taliban in Afghanistan. 
So who are they? I, they had them broken down here, I believe. Yeah, I mean, you have to go through the whole article to get it. According to the Afghan television T Tolo News, the Taliban formed government gave leadership positions, here they are, to Karalulu, I'm going to butcher these names, and I don't care, um, pig blood drinker, Karalula Karakawa, goat ball snorter, Narula Nori, Abdu Haq Wasik and Mohammed Faisal, both, uh, both uh, you know, sheep lovers, all of whom were released in 2014 deal with the Obama administration and the Taliban to free Bergdahl, who the Taliban had held on a prisoner since 2009. And this is why it's dangerous to deal with terrorists. On Tuesday, the Taliban announced that pig drinker Kal Kua would serve as acting minister for information and culture. That's some great culture. Great. You think we had it bad here with Beyonce? It's even worse there, Andy. Yeah, it's still worse there. Nori Woods, not, not, I mean, it doesn't sound worse, but it is worse. Nothing sounds worse, but it's worse. Nori would serve as acting minister of borders and tribal affairs. Wasik would serve as acting director of intelligence. Great, there's no threat there. And Fazol would serve as deputy defense minister. Wasik will reprise his role as the Taliban's intelligence director, previously serving in the role prior to the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks on America. So they gave the man his job back. And we gave the man over so that we could get a traitor and a deserter who got his own platoon killed or whatever trying to find him. It's not a platoon. I, whatever he was in got killed trying to find him. You guys in the comment line, let me know what you think. What, what would you say? I mean, really let this sink in. The terrorists who planned 9-11 are back in their post. The court also denied Kahari's petition for a writ of habeas corpus, concluding that he has repeatedly admitted that after the terrorist attacks on September 11th, he served as a member of a Taliban envoy that met Cladis, Cladis, Take two, clandestinely with senior Iranian officials to discuss Iran's offer to provide Taliban with weapons and other military support in anticipation of imminent hostilities with U.S. coalition forces. They're running the country now, friends. Unsettled souls. Let me know what you think in the comment line. Did you? What? How could anybody support this? speechless.